fresh congestion pricing fallout tonight with some of the outer boroughs saying that they actually feel betrayed by the pause on the controversial plan. Specifically in Queens where many say that they were planning on that influx of cash that was promised by the governor just last month. All right, it was supposed to fund much needed infrastructure upgrades including elevators to make subway stops more accessible. Fox 5's Teresa Priolo dives in. You don't want to be the person waiting at the bottom of the stairs for help. Yes. You don't know if it's going to come. Waiting on the steps of the 7 train platform for any sign of help is a component of daily life here in Sunnyside, at least for those who use a stroller, a walker, a wheelchair, or who have any sort of accessibility issues. I often, um, you know, ask them if they need help or whatnot, but I, I do see it on a daily basis. I can tell you when I was pregnant with her, the struggles it was trying to climb up those stairs, and it would have been really nice to have an elevator. For years, if not decades, Queens residents have been begging for elevators, and the state finally caved when they approved congestion pricing. But now that that's on hold, it appears the Sunnyside elevators are too. Councilmember Julie Wan has been told the project has been deprioritized. Not even two weeks ago, the the governor's team came to my community board and presented on their MTA accessibility plan with elevators coming in 246th Street on both sides. Construction was supposed to start this summer. Summer, June 2024. And now it's looking like who knows when. The elevated platform here on 46th Street is five flights up. The 61st Street escalator is broken. So the closest elevator is Queensboro Plaza. For Councilmember Julie Wan, that's an added 30 to 40 minutes of travel time if she's trying to travel with her three month old son. It is vital that they prioritize this district. Both 36th and 46th Street stations were due to get elevators. It would have cost $17 million in congestion pricing derived funds. The council member has called the governor's office and the MTA wondering what's next. So far, they haven't said. I expect that to still come through because more than 70% of my district is completely relying on public transit. New Yorkers are hoping somehow someone makes good on the promise to upgrade the infrastructure. At the end of the day, the need doesn't go away. You know, we're still here, we're suffering, obviously. They knew that. That's why the decision was made, and I think we have to figure out another way to do it. We reached out to the governor's office. So far, no response. In Sunnyside, Queens, Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.